My big brother called me this morning and he said, if you're looking for the creek, you're going the wrong way. And I said, fine, show me. And he said, fine, I'll show you. And me, my brother and his uh, little working cocker spaniel, Lita, are going to head out and find that creek. Because I've been there in that area two times now, but I haven't found that creek yet. So I'm really looking forward to it. And now I have a guide who definitely knows where that creek is, which is good. So we're going to head out. So that's today's plan. It's a beautiful day and the frost has come to the island. There are this uh, little white layer up on the, uh, on, on the fields and in the trees. So I'm really looking forward to capture the first winter day in a long, long time. I love the winter. I love the feeling of it. I like the cold. <laughs> so yeah. So we're on our way to our destination, the magical creek, but we found some reflections in the water that I thought, or that we thought, was worth photographing. That's why it pays to have a brother with me on a tour. Someone to hold the strap while I'm taking the picture. I've framed it uh, up so I can, can get equal amount of uh, uh, reflection and the, the tree. And I've set my focus on the water because the reflection for me is the most important part in this image. So just a two second timer and wait for clear water and simple as that. No worries, no hocus pocus. My brother is called Petter and his little cocker spaniel, working cocker spaniel, is called Lita. She is... How old is your dog? Weeks. She is 14 weeks. And she is just a bundle of joy, full of energy. So we walked for a bit and we're closing in on the creek my brother talked, uh, told me about and is going to show me, but... Believe it or not, it's been been some time since it's been raining, so we're not sure there ain't gonna be much water in it. So we're wondering whether it's a creek or not. But we're still gonna head there and have a look. It's not that far and we brought some coffee. So we're gonna sit there and have a cup of coffee and talk about the creek. This is a fantastic spot. We were just walking and we came across this frozen marsh. And there is a picture to be had here for sure. What I've done is that I set up the camera and I'm using both lines of the, the, the head of the forest on each side as kind of an arrow it draws your eyes into the picture. So I'm using the uh, the ridge of the forest as a line on each side. And my main subject is this beautiful frozen tree. So I focused on that one. F5.6, two second timer and 15th of a second exposure. Let's see. Beautiful. So we sat down and had a cup of coffee after a picture of the frozen marsh. And on our way back we're gonna stop by the creek to see if the light conditions have bettered. 
because we walked past the creek in the beginning, hoping it would be more suitable for photography on our way back. So that's our plan now. It's been a wonderful trip and our little friend here, she's having the time of her life. Beautiful way to spend your Sunday morning. This is the creek where my brother was here the last time. And this is the creek now. As you can see, it's a pretty huge difference in uh, the amount of water. But this is the goal of the trip, so I'm gonna give it a go. What do you think? So I think I found a composition, but it's gonna be a bit tricky because it requires a really, really small tripod because I still want to use my super stopper on this creek. So I'm gonna try to do something I haven't done before. And I'm almost in the creek. So this is gonna be interesting. So let's pack up. So I'm going for a one minute exposure using the Lee Super Stopper. To do that, I need to increase the ISO to 1000 and my, then my base shutter is 500. So I'm just going to slide the filter on without falling in. And then I put it in on one minute, two second timer. And we hope the dog isn't ruining everything. Rita, come down. Yeah, come down. Very happy with that last shot. I think, I think it worked. I, I love the colors on the little birch tree in the creek. So this has been a great tour, and Lita, the little, the little working cocker, is starting to get tired. So we, she's gonna sleep now. I think she's been, uh, she's been a bundle of joy today, <laughs> haven't you? All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in a week. Uh, if you would you can like and subscribe it helps a lot and i really appreciate it thanks for watching uh, take care of each other and i'll see you in about a week all right take care bye so after a long windy night we finally arrived in Tromsø. this is probably the brightest it's gonna get there's the sun almost peaks but then it goes back down to sleep again so there's there's no sun